there's a Portuguese, I think it's a Portuguese maxim that says God writes straight with crooked lines. And I think that is uh, indicative of how my vocation came to be because I didn't want to be a sister. <laughs> that was not in my radar. So um, I wanted to actually become a doctor. My dad was a doctor and my mom was an English professor. So it was either become a teacher or go into the medical field. So I thought, okay, well, I grew up in the Philippines, so a lot of um, poverty and disease. So I saw that, and I, I think my parents are just beautiful. They probably must have instilled compassion in our hearts. And so whenever I see people who are suffering, that's my heart just went out to them. So um, I decided I was going to go into the medical field. So I was going through school that way. Uh, my family moved out here when I was 15 to um, Wilmington in Los Angeles and um, very pro-life parish and I was part of the youth group. So that afternoon, it was Saturday afternoon, we went praying in front of an abortion clinic and uh, this man was jogging around the block, jogged once, around the block twice. And then the third time he stopped in front of my friend and myself who were praying the rosary. And he started questioning us about our faith. So um, he didn't like the answers that we were giving him. And so I turned to my friend and I said, you know, I think he's probably not hearing anything right now. So let's just continue praying the rosary. So he, when he saw what we were doing, he got so mad. He said, do you see that thing you're holding in your hand right there? I'm like, what are we holding? And he said, that, and so we, when we looked at our, you know, we were praying the rosary, he said, my mom used to pray that every day and she neglected us. And the minute he finished saying that sentence, I heard, I want you to heal him from the inside. And I'm like, mm, okay. And then the next wave comes and he says, I want you to be a sister. <laughs> okay, because sisters are healers, spiritual healers in that way. So he wanted me to go deeper. That afternoon, I went to our youth mass, bawled throughout the whole mass. It was so beautiful. That was the most beautiful Eucharist I've ever experienced. Came home, told my mom, and she's like, well, I said, mom, I think he's calling me to be a sister. And the whole time in my head, I was saying, no, no, no. I want to be a doctor. I want to have a big family. I want to get married in Rome. I had all these plans. My mom was like, OK, why don't you make an appointment to see our pastor? And I did. Um, two weeks later, I was dying. And when I finally made my appointment, father said, OK, why don't you go on retreat? And so he gave me an address. Drove to the address. The minute I drove through the gates, I just felt this peace wash over me. It was so beautiful. I said, what is this place? And um, the sisters, the Carmelite sisters, ran the retreat house that I was attending. So um, that from there on, I'm, that was it. That was it for me, so. For more information on religious life, log on to ewtn.com slash religious life.